Shalom, dearly beloved, my beautiful daughters and sons of Zion. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our soon and coming King. <sighs> Forgive me, I just woke up. I had two more dreams that I wanted to share while it was still fresh in my mind. Um, so the first one is that my kids was coming home from school, being dropped home by teachers, which is normally what happens. Normally me or their mom brings them home. So I'm following to watch the teachers to see what they're up to, trying to figure out why is it that they're bringing them home. Because in the dream, I wasn't really sure. Change of scene, I've been now inside the house, watching the teachers trying to get in the house. And they tried to use some excuse on the borderline of, we drop them home so we can go and see what happens inside their house, what they're doing. Um, they wasn't able to get in so they left and other people came I can't tell you if they sent the other people but men was trying to break in the house a few other family members was there and they wasn't really aware that people were trying to break in they also didn't take it very seriously because in their head there was no way these people could get in my wife was actually aware people trying to get in but she too wasn't really worried because in her head they can't get in through the, through the door or through the, quote, the wall so I had went out to see what was happening when I got there I saw these men kicking and punching the door they couldn't get in but they left and they came up very quickly and they, they had sledgehammers they had hacks they had pickaxe and it was actually by brute force because a lot of people don't know that these walls even behind me that would be plywood and in between would be a thin layer of concrete so what they was doing they was chopping with the axe away at the plywood chopping away at the plywood and then once they got the plywood out of the way they was using sledgehammers to break the concrete any of you that does demolition or see demolition being done it don't take more than about half an hour to get through a, a concrete wall so when I went to look after they had left and came back with these weapons, they was actually breaking through the wall. So now I've begun to explain to my wife that look, these people are going to break in the house. They're going to get in. In her head, she was still thinking they can't get in. It's a concrete wall. But obviously because she's a woman, well not because she's a woman, because there's women that does demolition, I understand. Because she's not aware of demolition, she doesn't understand that you can actually sledgehammer through a concrete wall. You can actually use an axe and break through plywood, so she didn't understand. So I was wasting time trying to explain to her how dangerous this is going to become because not only is your family members here, but the kids are in this house and these men mean business. They're going out of their way to break in this house. So either they want one of your family members or they want food, they want something. So I stopped begun to explain to her and I began to look for my, for my stuff. So... I digged up quickly, I found I had, it was a crowbar, but it was a long stick like a crowbar and it wasn't really a machete, but it was some kind of weird looking machete. You understand? Then I found my, my, my bulletproof vest now. So, I'm, I'm rushing, checking if they're inside yet, rushing, trying to get dressed in my armor, to see if they're inside yet. And the second that I put my armor on, my bulletproof vest, and I picked up my, 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 stuff my my sword and stuff i realized that they all turned into gold my bulletproof vest was now gold amen it's the bless it's the it's the breast plate of it's the breastplate of righteousness it tells you in ephesian ephesians armor amen i'm not gonna read the scripture because it's it's actually two dreams I need to speak about 
but I didn't want you to see it as a physical bulletproof vest because in the dream it's obviously got revealed it was a spiritual one. Um, Ephesians 6.14 Stand there for having your loins girded about with truth and having on your breastplate of righteousness. It's a part of the Ephesian armor. It's the breastplate to cover my chest. But what that dream symbolizes is that I had on not a bulletproof vest, a breastplate of righteousness and my sword of the spirit. Verse 18, which is the word of God. Amen. And as I got my armor on, and it all turned to gold. I rushed, I rushed to the front door as a form of this. I was just waiting, and the first man to come through the door was going to get it. And when I woke up, brothers and sisters, that was spiritual. The armor and the sword that I was putting on was spiritual. And just like how we saw, I saw the armor in the physical, just a natural looking bulletproof vest and a natural looking sword until I put it on, it became gold. Those people was also demons, they was demonic. And I was going to protect everyone in that house by myself through the grace and the power of the Holy Spirit against whoever it is that was breaking in. That was the first dream. The second dream, um, so I was, I was in some kind of a prison or some kind of a holding facility. I don't know if it was a FEMA camp I don't know if it was a holding center. I just woke up. I don't know if it was a FEMA camp or some kind of a prison, but I was there and they knew that they had to release me. When they had released me, I was walking down a long dark road trying to get through to the gate of the prison to exit. I saw men asking me, where are you coming from? Where are you going? I said, oh, I'm just walking from somewhere and I'm going to somewhere. I knew in, my, in the dream I wasn't meant to disclose to them the information. Because once they found out that I was actually leaving, they wouldn't want me to leave. I then got to another side where I realized they also had women locked up and all kinds of stuff. And so... I was speaking to one of these women and she was basically saying that she has a daughter she used to do hair or something um, they shut down her shop uh, she wasn't able to feed her daughter she was upset about it then they locked her up and whilst I was there speaking to her in this facility they had someone preaching and this person would quote scripture and quote scripture and shout and shouting I'm thinking there is no anointing here anyone can quote scripture and shout scripture and she's like it's the lady I was like you know there's something you're right you know because I'm thinking if he's so powerful like he's shouting and going on why can't I not feel the presence of God come from him and I said to her there is no presence of God in him the devil knows the Bible too this is why when he tempted Jesus on the mountain, he, 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 he was using scriptures to try to get Jesus to sin. And Jesus fought against him with scripture, but he used scripture to fight against Jesus. The devil knows scriptures. And for some reason he heard, he got upset and he came, he stopped his whole preaching, came over and he said he was going to lock her in a cupboard, in a closet or something. So I was like, you can't lock a grown woman in a, in a closet. What's wrong with you? She's a woman, you can't just lock her in a closet. So he tried to tell me, go back to your holding cell, go back to your... And I said, no, I'm exiting this place today. And this is how the dream became supernatural again, like the other dream. I was about two or three meters away from the door. And there was a, another guard by the door watching him, telling the other woman she's going to lock her in the closet. He told her to lock me in that room. No, he told the guard to lock me in that room where he was going to lock the woman in the closet. Now... Once I heard this, I saw the man start to jingle his keys and he was next to the door. I had super speed. I was through the door and I looked at him and he looked at me like, how did you get all the way from here without me turning the key? Anyway, 
I went left now. And I got through another door. At this point, I knew that this was the last room to exit this building. They had all of these guards. One of them pointed their gun at me. As, as, as in, if he makes a wrong move, we're just going to shoot him. Now, they all took out their baton sticks and begin to attack me. But can you imagine they were all spread out and they was all about to rush towards me. But I got to the first one, took his button, licked him over. Got to the second one, licked him over. I went through all of them in such speed that I even got to the one at the end with the gun and slapped the gun out of his hand with the button stick. They were all confused. Even I was a bit surprised because I'm thinking, how am I moving so fast? So another one came and he began to shoot. Camp, 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 camp. And I saw the bullets one after the other after the other as if in slow motion i dodged maybe two or three of them not like in matrix i literally i don't watch his movies anymore this secular stuff i'm just giving a reference just like how neo was dodging bullets i dodged the bullets and then i took the baton stick and i began to slap the rest of them away as i began to walk towards him and i took his gun and i basically think crunched it up and threw it then there was more of them and more of them brothers and sisters I'm telling you right now that the amount of men that came was loads of them and the more I defeated the more that came just like in my previous supernatural dream but this time there wasn't there was actually in their police uniform like prison guards but they had guns and buttons <sighs> If you if you ever seen uh, Flash, is it Flash? Marvels? I don't even remember. I can't watch his stuff anymore. But this guy, Flash had super speed. He would run so fast that he was just moving at the speed of light. I was moving faster than the speed of light. I was actually moving like I, I believe in the dream. It was the speed of thought. It's like traveling from from here to another country in like a split second. It was faster than the speed of light. Even the ones who was beginning to pull their button out. I already got to them, removed their hand and pulled it out myself from a far distance. I did this many times until they all was defeated. Then the scene of the dream changed. And I was in, I was somewhere in heaven. And I realized that I wasn't the only one that had this kind of power. I realized that there was other saints that God has given them this supernatural power. And there was a few demons that wanted to attack. Mixed with witches. And the, the demons and the satans and the fallen angels were telling the witches, shush. Because brothers and sisters, the Lord was there. I finally saw the Lord in a vision. I've been waiting for so many years. I finally saw the Lord in a vision. Not on a horse in the clouds, but saw the Lord in a vision. And he was basically saying, do you think I will be mocked? Do you think I will allow you, allow you to hurt my remnants? The power I have given them is far beyond the power that the devil has given you guys. Hallelujah. And this bit was short, but I knew, I knew what was happening. It all began to make sense. I will do my next video about this. We was the 144,000. Doesn't mean that only 144,000 was going to go to heaven. We was the 144,000 that was given supernatural powers to help, to help out in the tribulation, to help out. In, when, when the devil, because the devil's going to do all kinds of signs and wonders and miracles and all this demonic stuff is going to be happening and giving power to demons to do this and power to demons to do that so God's going to give the elect, those remnant power to protect his people, hallelujah because I was saying in my spirit like Lord, what about those people are actually just fully letting go fully seeking you you said everyone will get a reward just according to... And he was explaining to me that 
You guys are going to be raptured. You guys are going to be given power. You guys are going to help those who can't help themselves. But I didn't fully grasp it. I thought my brain was just doing something silly because, you know, my brain was doing it. But he's saying, do you think I'm going to let you turn away from the world and watch you sacrifice everything just to follow me in the true way? That I ask my people to follow me and there won't be a reward? You will not be in the tribulation. You will be kept from the hour of trial. But it's better than that. I will give you power to help the chosen at that time. So it was all up on like the clouds up in heaven somewhere. The Lord was there with all his mighty angels. They, they, these guys were serious. These guys did not laugh. They didn't even talk. They just waiting for the devil to make a wrong move so they can chop them with their fiery swords. So the Lord was saying, I will not be mocked. I have anointed my remnant. And they have power over all the power that the devil has given you guys. Because it was like God and the angels. And it was like the devil and some fallen angels, some witches and some demons. And even the witches was like, let's attack now. They're right in front of us. And these like fallen angels were like, are you crazy? That's the almighty Yah. He will destroy you in a second. You better wait till we get back to earth. It was like a little meeting kind of thing. Because we're not we wasn't allowed to be touched. And I don't know if it was a witch or wizard, but somebody was being disobedient, I, I guess. And they thought they can try to, to, to pounce. They moved maybe a semi-inch. And they just I can't say they burnt up so quickly. But it's like putting wax through a, 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 a furnace it will melt so quick that it disappeared that person that demon just disappeared fully fully disappeared and so they all realized don't play with yah he was mighty he had a goal that was so beautiful i'm not going to begin to try to describe him because it, it, it it's indescribable but to be in his presence, you felt this power, this love, this peace, this grace. It was amazing. So brothers and sisters, this is my second super, well, this is my second recorded, second recent supernatural dream. And once I was in this vision at the clouds, I realized that we are the 144,000. And we will be given superpowers. It doesn't mean that if you didn't get superpowers, you're not going to get raptured. It doesn't mean that if you missed the tribulation, it doesn't mean that you still can't make it to heaven. It just means that you're going to have to get your head chopped off in the tribulation because you've missed the rapture. Amen. But God still wants to save his people so much so, which is why he's anointed us with the full arm of God and given us power to protect the people. His people. Amen. So my next video will be about the 144,000 because God's now opened up my understanding. And um, I just urge you, brothers and sisters, if you're having dreams that you have supernatural power, you are part of the remnant of the 144,000. Do not let the devil get to you. He will attack you through dreams. He will attack you through your family, your friends. He will try to make it look as if you're not saved, like you haven't changed, like God's not with you. Just keep persevering. Keep repenting, keep fasting, keep praying, keep trusting the Lord and be ready. The Bible calls us the first fruits. Amen. So, just wanted to share this dream with you guys. And um, I'm actually excited. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so excited because if you ever know how much dreams that I've had that I've shot power, fire out my hands. At demons, I saw my pastor with me in one of them. I'm talking about the bullets that I was dodging in this dream. I didn't want to share it, so I didn't want people to judge me, but I had a dream once. Thank the Lord for reminding me. Someone was firing guns at me. And I basically did a... Uh, and all the bullets stopped. And I picked one and I dropped it. And they all dropped. I did not watch Matrix again that night. This was recently. I didn't watch Matrix. Years ago I watched this stuff. But supernatural powers is supernatural powers. All these marvels and these these Superman and all these, they're all demons. We are the superheroes, the super saints of God. I'll be carrying the power of God. Protect God's people in these last days. 
Because if you read Revelation, so many demons and fallen angels will be released on the earth. They'll be coming after God's people, not only just the lost. Um, God's going to send protection. I don't know if we're going to have angels with us, but I'm not the only one that's been having these dreams about superpowers, and I'm not the only one that God's been talking to about it. When I was up there, I wasn't the only one. There was many, there was so many of us, and we all had the same power. So I give God glory. Amen. Be blessed, brothers and sisters. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you all. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah.